How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing Live here, here to cover Akira Gashi fighting, um, what's the Malu? Milan Melindo. Milo Mingo, here with Charlie Brown, Boxing and Nauta TV. Nauta, take it away. Yes, uh, Akira Yagashi, the legendary Akira Yagashi, three-weight champion, current WBC flyweight champion, taking on Milan Melindo, former title challenger. Um, Yagashi is, uh, excuse me, Melindo is coming in at 35-2, and two, and Yagashi is coming in at 25-5. and five. Uh, Yagashi, former strawweight champion, former light flyweight champion, um, and he's going in here as a, as a flyweight champion now, here. Um, WBC flyweight champion, or excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, this is uh, for the light flyweight championship, former flyweight champion. Uh, this is the man that Roman Gonzalez defeated to become flyweight champion uh, before he came over to the United States. And Melindo has formerly fought against Juan Francisco Estrada, took a decision loss to Estrada. And also as well, for you guys to know, Chocolito formerly recently lost to a, a wrong aside, Akira Gashi was the first person to beat and knock out uh, wrong aside than his first debut, wrong side's first fight. So he's yeah. got he's yes, got names. Yes, he's got names on his resume and definitely uh, a warrior in Japan and he always gives uh, the Japan crowd the value for their money and that's why he's challenged for the title here. Um I don't, I don't know too much about the Thailand fight with the, with the with the terrible hairline. Now I'll tell him about tell Philippine, us about Phil he's uh, from the Philippines, uh, Milan Melindo out of the Allah gym. Um, Bro, very good. hard puncher, explosive puncher. Uh, left uh, you know, to the he, he, yes, yes, sir. Um, Yagashi, of course, you know, that kind of uh, rampaging Yam Yorikas Gamboa S, um, <laughs> in and out, uh, ambush style, ambush style fighting is, the, is Yagashi's game. This guy, um, Melindo, oh, he's Ooh, down overhand right. Yeah, overhand I, I, I always want to say very, very patient, uh, kind of like Daigo he Iger in, in, in a sense, just very patient, holding the center of the ring, and um, ooh. I tell you what, I always worry about Estrada. When I see him against Pedro Guevara, he, he, he got beat down as well because he was a flyweight champion. He actually come down the weight. And um, for for whatever reason, they've decided he's camp decided. Again he's, from like, he's down again. Left uppercut again. And he's rolled over. And I, I, I kind of worry about right, left uppercut. the weight, the weight um, coming down, going up a weight and being strong at flyweight to come down. Has it a big effect? Hurt. He's badly hurt, man. Yeah. I'm not and too it's sure. Right. It's over, man. D yeah. Double left hook. Ooh. Overhand right, got, oh, right uppercut from from the It's all yeah, one side. Really it's all one side. Yeah, it's all one side. Left a big left hook there again, and your guy she just looks hurt. He just needs some time That's to clear his head. Body. Like, beautiful know, body, beautiful body, beautiful body shot. He's a game guy. He's a Akashi. Akashi's a game guy. He, he can give yeah, one yeah. to take one. So he'll he'll he'll, yeah, he'll, he'll stay in there. Oh, there he goes down. Big, solid. Big right hand and now he's down. He's down and he's down. He's really that's, hurt. That's he's finished. Now. He's really hurt now. He's going to be game yeah, and yeah. That's what the referee. Oh, the referee so waves it off. That's it. And that's it, man. That is, it, oh wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think Agashi. I think we've seen better days yeah. for Agashi, man. Think yeah. You know, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He 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 got ambushed. How did Pedro Guevara? How did Chocolate Tito? Knocked out Akira Yagashi in the first round. Round, yeah, uh, man. Yeah, I, very you know, I, I do wonder. I do. I do wonder though if Yagashi may have been, you know, a little drained for this fight. Yes, um, that's know, what I'm I'll saying. I'll do credit to Melindo. Yeah, I'll do credit credit to Melindo for pouncing on his man. Um, yeah. he, he doing just catching him cold, catching him early, and yeah. finishing the job before yeah. Yagashi sets, sets him up for a fight with Heke Butler now, because um, the the winner was due to fight Heke Butler. Um, so that's it. That's well, it. Akira, Akira, Akira Gashi, uh, to me is a, a warrior, but like most boxing, time catches up everyone. That the sand has left the hourglass, and Akira Gashi must be thinking about calling it a day. And there's his wife there, and she's it must be powerful for his family to watch this guy that's worried being in his back and give so much day, but he ain't got it no more. And um, to yeah, come to go, going down, and then you see the people in see shock. Daigo, he, you can see Daigo Higa and Ken Shiro right there. Um, yeah. They're very shocked at the result. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, they are. Because they all, they come, because he, he's been such a game warrior for, for many years. But the thing is, yeah, it's like everything where, you know, going from flyweight to come down and later in the latter of your career, it has a different, Roy Jones, it struggled. You know, I can keep going and name the name. The name. Shane Mosley went up to 154 for a bit, came back down. It takes stuff out of you. And this um, broken nose Filipino guy definitely um, definitely could do something. Um, and Akira Gashi has to sit back and, and wonder what he's going to do. Well, this guy will go on to good things and, and try and try and unify the titles right here. The referee holds hand aloft. Let me hear the commentary yep. right here. Uh, 
I'll tell you what, if I was walking in a dark alley and I saw this guy's face and the hairline, I'd run the opposite way. Congratulations, mate. Look at his teeth. <laughs> my, my man, my, <laughs> this guy is a traditional old school broker, old school broke down face, broke boxer, but he's, he, he listen, a box is not about being pretty, mate. And that guy, that yeah. guy's got hands on it, boy. Hands of stone. <laughs> yeah. He sends Akira Gashi into retirement, in my opinion. In my opinion, Akira Gashi, I think he's seen better days. That was a beautiful left hook there, right on the chin, right on the button there. Sends him over. Ooh. And here's the finishing shot here with a referee. He sat him down on the seat of his pants. Akira Gashi did throw no punches back. He's just eating shots, and that was it. That was it. Look oh, at it. He's just standing yeah, he, there, just Gashi, taking he, shots. Gashi, look, look at the look on his face. Yeah. Yeah, he, he should, I don't know why they. I don't know why they carted him out. They carted him out to even fight. Look at him. He's not even looking. He's just oh. He can't even react quick enough to even block the yeah, punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parry or nothing. I think that, that, that what you said, Naito, was right. Although he did make it comfortably, he made it. You know, one of seven and three quarter pounds. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he, but I mean, he, even there, here though, he looked pretty dry. Looked, looked like he wasn't quite. Maybe he didn't warm, warm up. Oh. He, he probably yeah. didn't warm big up. Right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a big right hand. He, he well, didn't warm up properly. I don't think. Yeah, well, but that's it. That's that it. Draws the curtain on his career. So we we'll see. We we'll have to see. Um, we we'll have to see, man. Um, Akira Gashi. Well, well, I think he should be calling the curtain. We have to see what um, um, what Melendo. What's his name? Melendo. See what he's Milan, Milan El Metode. Milan, yeah, the Method Man. Milan, the Method Man, Melindo. <laughs> it does L L Method Man. That's what that's that's what it means, yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. got a method for real. He's definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely be smoking. He's definitely be smoking his own stuff. From EJ Boxing Live here, now on TV. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing Live here to watch. Uh, light fly, there will be a light flyweight contest between Rayo Tokoji and Robert Barrera. Now we'll be doing the blow by blow and Charlie Brown boxing will do the corner commentary. Let's go now, Ta. Tell us who's there. All right, we have Robert Barrera of Cordoba, Colombia. 18 and 1, um, new challenger for this belt, the WBA World Light Flyweight title held by Ryoichi Taguchi of Tokyo, Japan. They are fighting in Tokyo at the Odyssey Gym. Um, you can see ring, ringside, you got a few champions there, like so of uh, Kozi Tanaka and um, Shinsuke Yamanaka, yeah. and also um, Uchi Amrina. Yes, yes, Takashi Uchi Amrina. And uh, you're going to see in a, just a short second, uh, Tomoki Kamet is in the, in the house as well, doing um, interviews with the crowd, uh, so, some of the fans and everything. Um, and Robert Barrera, you know, he's a, he's a mandatory for this fight, for this belt. Um, they have one common opponent in Carlos Canizales. Um, Robert Barrera lost a split decision to Carlos Canizales of Venezuela, and Carlos Canizales actually recently fought Rio Taguchi and held them to a split draw in Tokyo. Some semi-controversial split draw um, there. So these guys are pretty much evenly matched, man. They, they have a common opponent, fought pretty evenly against that fighter and in comparison to each other. So I think this is going to be a really good fight. Um, Taguchi has a slight height and reach advantage. Um, five five and a half is what he's listed at. I think he's a little bit closer to five six and change. And Robert Barrera is listed at five four and a half, which I think is accurate. Mm. Yeah. Very good, um, very fast pace that they've set um, for each other, both in the center of the ring, uh, feeling out each other's jab. I guess. Ryo Tokiji, man, he's got a very good left hook to the body. He went the distance with. He's the only man that actually goes distance with uh, a night anyway. And um, he's um, he's a disciple of uh, Taka Uchiyama. Fights out of the same camp where well, Uchiyama's retired right now, but there's the same style works behind his jab and uh, sets up his right hand and his left hook. He does beautiful to the body. There you see a bit of it. And uh, with Barrera, Barrera reminds me of um, Jazza Corrales. Oh, that's a day. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, Takaji touching to the body. There's the left hook I'm talking about. And um, he reminds me of Corrales. You know what I mean? This free, free flowing. Brazilian Latino star, Barrera. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like, there's only one. Go ahead. He also, sorry, no, I was going to say, he also switches from uh, Orthodox to Southpaw as well, Barrera. And there's the Southpaw stance with the left hand. Yeah. Most, most of the time when you think about Barrera, you always think of Marco Antonio and Barrera, the Bayface assassin, but hey, yeah. as you know, in Latin, Latin America, there's loads of names called Barrera. That's a beautiful left hook by, by, by Barrera to the body, actually. Yeah. But ta, ta, there you go. Taguchi as well. He's a. <laughs> Taguchi, he's, he's getting a bit more exciting as his career's going on. He's putting, he's putting a nice. A, it's like Charlie Brown's just put it out, a good pace. Setting a nice, hard pace. Yeah, good body work from Taguchi. 
There you go. He's, he's, le his left hook is his pedigree chum. Nice right hand to the jaw as well. Yeah, he's it's the one who always sets up. Uchiyama used to have a good right hand, but with um with Taki, Ryo Takichi, he's he to see his left hook is the one he usually goes for. He usually looking to set it up. He's, um, there you go, there you go. Well. There you go, there it is. That's the one he's looking to go for. He sets it up. That's all he's looking for is does that left hook to crush the rear. You go, look at him. Keep, they throw it a lot. There you go. He's, there it is. The right hand is a, is a, is a setup, but there you go. Again, on the left hook. And it's starting to work, though. He's yeah. bringing the hands yeah, down. He's just pushing him back. Yeah, he needs to bring that left hook to the head now. As he's whipping it to the body, he'll start bringing it to the head. Yeah, there you Gucci's go. Been his head has chin checked before. Ooh. Anyway, he's, look at that! Wow, freaking fun! <laughs> that was a good draw with Carlos uh, Kenneth that, that was a great well, round of Venezuela. That was he, an excellent round. He did um, he did have a draw with him there, and it could have gone either way that fight. Um, his chin was tested in that fight as well, but I thought he won that fight. That was a great round. I give that round to um, I give it round to Taki Takayoshi. I give yeah, it round. Same here. There's yeah. a beautiful round right there. And a yeah. great ending to the round. Who's this guy with the with the earpiece now? Uh, that is Tomoki Ahmed. He's a, he's a former fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fought in the US before. He fought on PBC a couple of times. Who did he fight? Um, one of one of the Kamada brothers. Um, oh, bantamweight champion. The Kamada brothers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Kamada. Yes. Kamida, Kamida. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You can see the replays right there. Yeah, yeah. You see this? What I'm talking left about the left from, hook. Is there? That's from, what I'm talking about. See, his left hook. It will, it will always be setting up for it. He'll set everything yeah. up, but mainly he'll looking for it. There you go. See. The left hook, and that's the end of the round. The third man in the ring, I'm not too sure is. I've seen him before, you know, the referee before. That is uh, Russell Moore. Referee. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. Russell Moore, related to Sergio Moore somewhere. No, I'm only joking, but still. <laughs> round, <laughs> round two for the WBA like, Flyweight Championship hold by Raya Tengachi. How many defenses he's made? Quite a lot of defenses, actually. He was, how many defenses he made to the title? Um, yes, you know, he's the longest reigning uh, life flyweight champion, the current uh, one. Uh, this will be his uh, sixth defense, it looks like. And this is what I was trying to say about um, Tsukuyuki Achiyama. He, he he pats himself on it. And, you know, he's done a good staying in this camp and being around him. And he's trying to do the same thing right? Uh, that Tsukuyama, long reigning double PA, um, was it? Was it Super Fly, Super Bantamweight or whatever? Is it Super, super Bantamweight Champion? Was it Super Bantamweight? Yeah, Super Bantamweight Champion, I think it was. Super Flyweight Champion. Super featherweight champion, like uh, Tsukiyasha. He's trying to do the same thing and replicate and have a long title defense. There you go. And he's standing in a war right now. Oh, you yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, nice right yeah. now. Oh, see, there you go. The left, left hook, you see? To told you, that's what he does. I've seen him cripple a lot of guys with the left hook to the body. And that's how it looks. He yes. leans in it and likes he, to whip he, it. He mixes up body shots and headshots really nicely. That's a good right hand, though. Good, good right, right hand, hand as well. Yeah. And he dipped underneath Barrera's arm. Uh, offenses. No, well. Brera, Brera, you know what? To be fair, we, we took a ride with Brera sharing no respect right here. Yeah. He's he sharing he wants the title, man. He's in Southpaw stance yeah. now. Um, I think he's. I think he should stay at Southpaw because he's getting more. He's more effective in the Southpaw stance than he is yeah. from the Orthodox. Let's see, starting to upset um, Taiguchi. Yeah, but on the inside, man, uh, Taiguchi. To the body, oh. Gucci maybe. Good shots on the inside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. So he's, he's just switched orthodox again there, Barrera. But I, th I think I think I think Barrera should probably give him a little bit more movement as well. Yeah. See, the thing is, when he's moving, the, the shots don't have any uh, power, and um, they're not having much power when his feet is planted. I'm not trying to say he doesn't hit hard, but. Um, Possibly moving and punching. That's the thing about Tagi. To beat him, he's, he's eating a lot of movement and then there's a lot of boxing. But in a way, proved that you, a lot of movement and a lot of hand speed, you can easily outbox him. Um, yeah. But he, he, you know, he yes. comes. Tagi, well, Carlos Canizales gave him a lot of trouble. With yeah, him. yeah, you could do that with Tagi. Yeah. But the thing is, you see, he realizes he worked better than Jab. He believes in his power. You know, he believes he can get him out of here. Like, and he's putting a lot of pressure out here. Look, he's digging in. But I, I, at some stage, yeah, look, there's a left hook to the head, that right? Yeah. But he, you know, oh, there you go, there's a right hand. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? He's, look, he's looking at measuring. Sharing no respect enough. Hey, listen, if you're the champion, he's fighting like the challenger, for, for, <laughs> to be fair. You wouldn't think he even had the belt the way he's fighting. Sure, he's taking a lot of gambles, you know. If a better man with all good right hand, right there, he dropped, dipped his knees. Big right hand. His knees dipped. <laughs> and that's the end of round two 
I think that's the end of round three. Two, I think that's the end of round two. That was a good, that was a good round again. Is he breathing all right? No, no. Who's that? Cha that's a champion right there as well. That that is WBO champion um, Kosei Tanaka. Uh, yep. He has since um, he he well he will have it since vacated his title uh, following this, uh, but very good champion, former light um, former strawweight champion as well. That's right. I, mean, yeah, I think we covered. I think we covered him actually. I think I covered him on my channel. I've done some comments. Yes. Yeah. Yes, um, I mean, uh, he's, a, he's a two weight champion in only eight fights. Um, so, and Barrera starts hey, in you know, South Pole. Uh, Vasil Lomachenko, eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he starts in South Pole, starts again. Um, it's Barrera. Switch it. I don't know why he switches back to orthodoxy. He's not having much success in orthodoxy. Well, yeah, he's, 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 he's given Taguchi good angle. Yeah, he's giving him different looks. Talks. Yeah, that's right. And he's trying to offset him. Um, but yeah, he, to be fair, to do that, you need to be more, more more faster with your hands at top seven because to win in Japan you need to really put something on him. As you can see, Tagaji look like he's a young guy, but it looks like he's balding in the back. It looks like he's balding, and he's taking some shots here, man. A lot of pressure here, a lot of pressure on the champion here, and he's like he's um, defending his belt. So he definitely wants to keep retaining his belt here, keep getting that chain, and and keep keep celebrating in Japan and with, with all the other champions. Beautiful jab there, beautiful jab by uh, Tagaji. Oh, there again. Beautiful. Uh, Cut yeah, punch him. South by now. Bad, better shots than South by. There you Charlie go. Brown's been That's very what... dead on about that. Yeah. yeah. He's, um, See, it's it's harder for there. Taguchi to get the angles on him than he's at South right. by. Hitting gloves to, there. To the, right, the right hook to the body. You see? He's gonna be all day. If he can take punches from anyway, trust me, this kid's gonna be there all night. Ooh, his nose is bloody too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a tough kid. He, listen, against anyway, his face was busted up and he went the distance, 10 rounds actually. But he can take shots, man. He his nose is very bloody. Yeah, right he is. When he's getting peppered, that's probably why Barrera switched to South when he realized he's easy, he can get his shots off easier. And now he switched back again, orthodox. And now he's peppering him. Yeah, hand speed. It might be still of Jerez Corella. He's, well, he's putting it on him. But he's obviously got power. Oh! That was a beautiful left. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that straight left did uh, rock back. Uh, yeah, but look at Takichi's arms back. back. Look at him. He's digging yeah. back in. Look at that. Ooh! Hooks to, the, hooks to the body. Oh, yeah, right. but you know what? I wonder if these punches actually hurting him, though. Because he, he's, for some reason, he's putting a lot of the speed in that, but the technique flawed. Like, I, don't know if he, I don't know if he's turning the punches over properly. With the knuckles, which one? Because, who? Barrera, Tuck and or... Because when you throw this left hook, you're supposed to be rake, raking them across the body. Yeah, and what he does, he just tends to just throw it there and leave it there. Oh, you okay. Usually, when you throw this left, you're supposed to rake it across the body. So it rips right across. Well, he's, he's, come, he's come back like a monster. He's come back fast. Yeah, he definitely wants this round there, Tuggerji. Because he was, he was, the round was going away from him. He's definitely oh. come back flat fast, man. So left, left hands on the Barrera. Yeah, I, I just saw that. He's starting to get quite confident, Barrera. Yeah, but might. the punches don't seem to be having any effect, though. Either all that's a push down. Yeah. Well, I, well, I did. Say, I did say it reminds me of um, Carales with coming in with that with the cockiness and stuff like that. He's, he's very confident. That's the end of the round. Yeah, definitely not bothered that he's you know fighting outside of his home country, over mm -hmm. Japan, long long way away from home, but he's. Trying to make it like home with there. Oh, that's a good body shot. Good, good left hook. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. and they good traded straight, right there. Yeah, well, good see, straight left yeah, from, from Barrera. Yeah, you yeah, saw yeah. what I'm talking about, them, yeah, them body so shots. Fun. You see when you throw them left hook to the body, you try to drag it, rake it across. See, when you throw a punch, land at the target, and it's going through the target. You see what I'm saying? And that makes a difference in the technique and also when you're throwing the punches as well. And the nothing as well, you could turn the knuckles over as well when you throw these hooks as well. Yeah. So uh, he's a lack of technique, but he's definitely you know, throwing with passion. I, I think I was incorrect earlier. I believe that's actually Koki Kameda that's that's there. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because the Kameda brother. They all look alike, innit? Yeah, like Kameda, yeah, the Kameda brother. One with the blonde hair, one with the next hair, and yeah, definitely the three brothers. Eh? I think there's three, or <laughs> even more. Hey, you know what? I gave all the, I, I, I gave this Togaji Ooh. came back. I gave him this round. I gave you know what? Actually, maybe I maybe he lost the last round actually, but um. The scorecards, I think. How you got it? Two, two, two one or two? Or I got three, two. I got three, two, three. two one, man. Two one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, two. So he's getting caught in. He's getting caught in these yes. exchanges. But I mean, it's a very evenly matched. Oh man, yeah, yeah. He's he's getting them all on from the ropes, man. Barone is getting yeah. out of those ropes. He's getting yeah. he's getting caught in the exchanges, man. 
I think when it's it just a case of Taguchi trying to slow down his oh, movement. Oh, this is a real rip rip fight. Rip this is to the body. Well, he's getting caught with a little short left hook from Brera. As Brera's but timing. He's turning, he's turning his leg into those left hooks, though. Brera, oh. Brera, see, Brera got no respect for him, you know. Brera showing no respect, boy. He's showing no respect for him. He's cut his, he, the thing is, you look at a lot of fighters, yeah, when they're fighting, he's very relaxed, this Brera. Very relaxed. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's just, you know what I mean? He's yeah. not under pressure. He's under pressure, yeah. but he's just smooth. Look at him. Look at him. He's just comfortable in there. He's, yeah. he's, he's looking like he's trying to rub a dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a dangerous he's, he's, game to play. Yeah, yeah, but he, he's relaxed, man. And, and, and Tagish is just, he's spent all effort and just trying hard. Yeah. But Barrera the is just. Thing that, that worries me about Barrera, though, that, that the punches don't seem to have much effect on Taguchi there. Uh, yeah, no, Taguchi is a boss. always fight. respect him. Yeah, ooh, that right uppercut there. But I know what I know what EJ means. Um, he's very relaxed, which is the best thing to be. Yeah, he's breathing out of his mouth though. It looked like for the last beat or two. Very good. But, um, and this is this is this is the Gucci style of fight. He's a he's a volume fighter. He threw over 100 punches around when he, when he defended against uh, Juan Jose Landaeta. So he's this is his game. Where he needs to he needs to try and keep distance on him. And it's an off, big, that was a big right hand right there by Taguchi. Got oh. up against the... Ooh, big left Oh, the left, yeah, the left, yeah, the left. Yeah, the left yeah. Another one. Maybe he's too relaxed, Brero's too relaxed there, boy. He's, too, he's, too, he's too pe- relaxed. He's getting peppered out of the low blow right there. Right. <laughs> uh, I think he's... Yeah, that was, I think that he's that was slow. Yeah, yeah. Brero's Barrow. starting to feel the pace, bro. But he looks cool, though, man. Man looks cool, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, look, look, look. The amateur career, though. Ferreira, he had a very, very good amateur. He switched back to Southpaw. You see what I'm saying? Because he's real relaxed, it, yeah? You, you can see it You can see it in his style, Charlie. You definitely see that in his mm-hmm. style. He's got class, he, can, oh, he's like, he didn't probably didn't have an extended oh. time. Yeah, he's nice just, look, look, look at this, he, he's even playing with him, man. Rolled back. You know what, I think he's extending him though. Um, Barrera, he's making him tired because uh, the pressure, listen, after a while, that, like I said, that pressure will break you, bro, burst pipes, man. Yeah, Taguchi is just a grinder. Comes forward, throws lots of punches. But in this not fight, necessarily the heaviest handed guy, but I mean, he, he just puts it on you at all angles. So I'll be fair. You gotta be prepared to deal with it. I'll be fair. In most of the fights, he used his work behind his jab and let everything set up. But in this one, he's cut loose. He said someone's t- something like someone's done something to him, and he's fighting like a madman. <laughs> he wants to get this you out of here, bro. Because I think he's really like Brera is a better boxer than him. So he's gonna say, I, I, I'm gonna fight him. And that, that's what you do. Yeah. If he's almost a better yeah, boxer, absolutely. you have to fight him. And I think he's realized that because he's got a long reach, is Taguchi. And he usually work. like I said, he works behind his jab, what he's doing now. That's how he usually fights, and that's how he wins fights. But for this, Ooh, for this one, right. he stepped up, he stepped it up, bro. He's like, right he's, he's throwing the kitchen sink at Brera, man. And Brera don't look like he wants to catch it. <laughs> right now, man's trying to catch a case out here, bro. Taguchi's nose, breathing. Yeah, he's he's Taguchi, really. a lot of, most of his stoppages are late in fights. You know, he's a volume yeah. fighter. Um, he's going oh, in there just man. trying to Brera needs to get out there. Brera's taking some whipping, shots here, man. Whipping them hooks to the body, yeah. Definitely whipping those hooks to the body with leverage, man. Mm-mm. Brera's good though. He's seen it all before. He has. Um, I don't quote me on it. I know he did. He got quite far in the Pan American Games not too long back, and uh, I know he's had something like 80 plus Eighty fights um, amateur fights so he's well scored he's seen every type of style there is to see that's probably why he's he is so relaxed as you can see there he yeah did. but the thing is yeah like the thing is with, with amateur but, style a lot of time in the amateur style you you know comfortably you can outpoint but in the pro game yeah. it's about putting putting meat Definitely. on that on the bun yeah that, well that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's why it's the hurt game yeah yeah, yeah his, his business. His, him, him yeah. being on the ropes like that the way he is is mm. no way, not not good nah he, yeah he, he, unfortunately for Japan, him he really he really he really has not made very much of an impression offensively no in no 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 but, but the thing is, but I don't think Burrow is actually trying to. He's just trying to outbox him, and then that's what Ryan because he's. Really, I think if he stands there with him and just go toe to toe, maybe something will happen. Now like, he's starting to stand a bit with him now, but this is what I'm saying. He's starting to stand with him and just do this with him, but he's just mm-hmm. tending to on his box on the back foot, yeah. and it's lying on Taguchi to get more aggressive. The irony about uh, Taguchi is, even though he's a very tall, rangy fighter, he actually works better at mid range to. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. I agree, but that's why when he got with. Um, 
Uchiyama, Uchiyama teach them the, 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 the thing, the, the, how to use your jab. Work behind your jab and that's, like that. that's what he's learned because before he, he like now has put it out, he just like to stand him and slug as he's doing now. He didn't, he didn't used to work behind the jab at all. He used to go out there and heart, speed and heart and determination. Um, and that ain't gonna get you. He's a world champion now. You gotta be a bit more, bit more, you know, a bit more cute. There you go. Work yeah, yeah, Barrera's come back pretty nicely at the, towards the end of this round. Barrera ain't winning nothing out here in Japan. I can tell you that for free, mate. <laughs> tell you yeah, that for yeah. free, mate. He that. won this round, but it's again, he, he's more effective in the southpaw stance than he. I don't know about that. Yeah, sticking and moving. I, I, I can't say. Stance, he, 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 I don't know about that, Charlie. Man, he had a flurry. Man, he took off. He took off Mac Flurry earlier on in that round, mate. So. He's uh, he's uh, fighting. Okay, I'm thinking, and then thinking is to be a little bit more Ersland Lara than than Luis Ortiz. Put it that way. Who's that? Who's that? Is his manager chart? Is that his manager um, Nata? Who's the old? Guy? Um, that that is his uh, father. Okay. Well, his father, you can see, he's got the same hairline as his dad, boy. All right, round six. EJ boxing live here with Nata TV. We're covering the oh, WBA right. like flyweight championship. Rob Barrera, the challenger, the champion, Ryo Togoji from Japan. Yeah, that's it. Toguchi, Toguchi's is a big star over there, man. He's a Tokyo boy, fighting in Tokyo. So the city proper, pet capital city, one of the biggest cities on the planet. So there's definitely a lot of people going out there to see him. Mm -hmm. Fight, fighting on TV Tokyo, as you can see in the, uh, <laughs> the advertisements. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, it's an interesting fight. He don't look like he's doing very well defending his belt. And it looks like he's onto the defending belt. We're in round six, so we can't tell. But he's definitely doing pretty well. But again, you know, a lot of time you watch a fight is you're looking about adjustments. And he's more or less he's just gonna try and beat this kid down. Then but bro, he's just gonna try and beat him down. With left hooks, rights, you know. Bro is a lot more effective in this round though. Yes, 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 yes. 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 But this is what I'm trying to Good left cross. But this is what I was trying to say. Yeah. It might, it's just that if he had power like Corrales, uh, Tuggage would be in trouble, yeah. man. He'd be in trouble. <laughs> Trust me. He's, he's a bit of a powder puff puncher, I'm not going to lie. Um, Barrera. Um, it's going to make himself. Oh, so he, he's, what what a ropes. check hook, man. A cow, yeah. man. Beautiful catch and shoot as well. Up close. Look at that. Ooh. Slipping, sliding. And this right. is what I'm talking about the relaxed side of the, of the, of the Latino file. Relaxed. Yeah. The smooth. Everything's sucked. Everything's flowing through. It's nice and subtle, boy. Beautiful, beautiful boxing here. Look at that uppercut. Look at that. He started to clown him now. Look at that jab. Ties him up. You know, wait for the referee to break him. You know what I'm saying? Walks behind the referee. Then he's going back again. You know, look at it. Oh, ooh. He took two big shots from his dome. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He took a wood. And he comes talking. Ooh. Yeah, listen. Uh, he's, listen, he's under some fire, brethren. Yeah. <laughs> he's under some fire. If you want to take the world title, bro, this kid ain't giving it up tonight. Yeah, you better yeah. come take it. Good. Gucci wasn't very, uh, very impressed with all the showbo mm -hmm. <laughs> right, that came and made him pay for it a little bit. He made him definitely pay. Yeah, and that's the story of the fight so far. And rest with Russell, Russell Moore hasn't have to do anything. Just let them fight. So he. He's right out of the picture. The two fighters are allowed to just do their thing. Yeah, there's Ooh, the left hook again. Hook to the body. Yeah, there you go. Right uppercut there. And got him cut on the ropes. Yeah, he's, he's done. Listen. Right listen. Left hook. Sit, sit on the ropes. Oh. Sit on the ropes. Yeah, he, he, all the relaxed style. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's just cute, bro. He's just very cute, boy. Yeah, it definitely comes from the, the Anselmo Moreno. Uh, that type school of, of boxing. Ooh, yeah, look at the pressure. Slick in there. Ooh, but, yeah, he, uh, he took a lot of shots there, over. man. Took a lot of punches. I don't know what's thing about Colombian fighters as well. They they train because it's um they're in the Andes or near, not the Andes, but they're up there in the the mountains. They're at high altitude, so they're very good stamina. Uh, Ecuadorian fighters, Colombian fighters, and that and that possibly helps. With him being relaxed under pressure like this. Yeah, but boy, wow, he's, he's fighting a samurai warrior, man. He's just fighting all gun blazers, boy. No respect. Rolling him, rolling up on him, and just doing him dirty, bro. Just doing him dirty. My man wants to fight, bro, and he's just calling him on. And he will not be denied. And relaxed now, we're starting to get into the fight. Fatigue. Fatigue by <laughs> by Brera. Brera looks for starting to look fatigued for the first time now. He is. Holding on. Yep. 
and it's the what and the the the, uh, the conditioning of, of, of strategy is starting to work, man. The, the, yeah, yeah. And the tra- and, and the, the people yeah, sense it. Oh, everyone yeah, sense it. Look in, at it. He's in distress. Yep. He's in distress. Yeah. He's the and Tucker, okay, he's, he's, he's hurting the body. Yeah, he's holding on a bit more now. Let, let his, the confidence has started to drain out of him. I oh, need eat some big right hand. Eat it, bro. And that, look at that uppercuts to the uh, dome. Right hand again. Now he switches starts again. He's, all the cute stuff ain't helping you out here. You gotta put hands on this dude, bro. Mm. Man's walking you he's, down. He's, uh, he's lost this. He's lost this fight on points if it goes the distance. He's well, he's losing it he's at the minute. Done. You know what he's doing? Might, uh, oh, he's just ooh. taking some shots. I've seen people turn things around, but Man. he's just taking Me a beating. Shots. He's ooh. taking a beating. Body the referee shot. might want to stop this at any time now because he's not yeah, even fighting no. back. This yeah, is a one-sided not beating. It's not even competitive, man. Now he's yeah. looking away as well. Oh, he's turning he, away. Turning away and he turned yeah. his back, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's a bit of a no mess there. Yeah, man. Look at that. He has to fight, man. Man wants the belt. Listen, this boxing thing ain't easy, boy. You want my thing? Come take it. And yeah. the Atagaji say, yeah, you want me? Come here. And the Japanese yeah. fans are cheering yeah. him on. And the thing is, he's a yeah, way too... trying to take it from... Okay. It would, it, would, it would help if he was in Colombia, but you're in right. Japan. Like you're, you're away from your... You're away from your... Very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah man, to, to, to Gucci, to Gucci's probably his whole family and extended family yeah. and friends and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, he's not trying to get embarrassed. No. Nope. So nah, he's, nah. He's them Japanese away. take it seriously, as you can see. But they're getting beat in their hometown, boy. They're not about it, bro. Oh, big oh the left hook was dirty. Left the left hook was dirty. Oh, oh, he slipped. Oh. Yeah, it's so passionate. Look, he's back up again. He's, he wants to get back in there again. Look at that. He don't care. He wants to get back. Even though he slipped, he wants to get right back oh, in there again. He, I wonder if he hurt himself on the way down. Nah, he, even if he did. I think even if he did, he's like, I'm not going to be denied. <laughs> oh, man. He looks a little bit tired yeah. himself, not to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, I, I think, Bre- but yeah, he think, beat Brera down. Slip and fall took something out of his taxi. Yeah, but Brera's yeah. Brera starting to throw something back for, for the first time, bro. But you see? Only because he sensed that. Taguchi was a little bit winded oh, there. Oh, because he or, slipped, because yeah. he slipped. Yeah, but he's yeah. eating. Yeah, yeah. Like, take, took advantage Barrera, of that. Barrera, Barrera's recovered and he's coming forward now. Barrera, yeah. See, Brera must have realised, yeah, if I start, if Brera started the fight like this from the start, he would have been better off, mate. <laughs> he would have been better off because he started on he the back he could post it. He thought he could coast for a couple of rounds. So it's a bad game plan. Very bad game plan, man. Um, ooh, look, look right, at the, yeah, right. the, big, the, big, the biggest mistake Burroughs made is, is allowing himself to get trapped. There's the, the one, there's the shot we did, there's the shot we did. Left foot. Yeah, there you go. That's the one, today. that's the one. Yes. And on the jaw. Yeah. Well. Yeah, Burroughs made the mistake of getting himself trapped on the ropes, and Taguchi, once he gets his hands moving, it has some of the more creative combinations in the game. And Round. Uh, once those hands are moving, it's, it's tough Round to get eight. out of those, those, those Round changes. Uh, to be quite honest, I've I've got Taguchi winning uh, six rounds so far to I, one. I feel I gave this guy two rounds, man. At, at max two rounds. For two rounds. Yeah, I, can't, yeah. I can't remember which round, but I gave him two rounds so far. Brad Barrera got gave two rounds. Him one, Everything one round. else. You gave one round, Jack. Yeah. yeah, see. Yeah. Barrera is making, giving uh, Taguchi a hard time of it in some of these rounds, uh, but Taguchi is just working. Just yeah, every time. Working, yeah, every time. Yeah. It down. Yeah, That's every true. time it gets to the point. Where Brero starts to get on top, Togaji says, nah, unless he steps it up. The body right uppercut. Uppercut again, Ooh, man. Ooh, another right, 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 right uppercut. Yeah, up and left hook. Yeah. Well, left hook to the body, and he bounces back. Yeah, see, back, just the jam. creative combination. Oh, that was, a, that was a nice right hand, like almost out of a southpaw sense for just the beat there from, from Toguchi, second ago. Yeah, he's tying up now. He's tied himself. He set a hard pitch yes. for himself, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, nice Brero. wide shots for Yeah, Brero can do yeah. this, man. He can, he can, he can, See, this is let he needs to let his hands go, man. Yeah, I think uh, Taguchi looks a little bit armory. But he has set a high, uh, you know, a high pace, high work rate. Yes. So he will start to slow down in round eight. But still, well, uh, he keeps, fight keeps is, throwing, though. Keeps on throwing. Yeah, Japanese fight is known for their great stamina and conditioning. Well, I tell you what, in these weight classes, there ain't no holding, man. Max, all it's all it's all bombs away, mate. Yeah. This is good. I like the way uh, Taguchi's pushing them away as well, not allowing himself to, to get clenched. Yeah, got a clench right there though. Yeah, it's starting to get a bit more ragged and the two of them starting to be a bit more ragged. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can tell the fatigue is setting in for both of them. Yep. There he goes, Taguchi again. Right. Oh, hook. Left hook. Oh, that left hook was dirty. Stunned him. And he answers back, Barrera. 
he answers back with a beautiful body shot of his own yes. and they answer now with Taguchi left to to his own and look he's, and he, he, he's precious relentless man what the heck the, you know what after this year watching this man man might have to retire the man beat the life out the man's beating the life out of him man you can. Japanese Japanese margarita right here. Yeah, yeah you know what? Like, you know what? <laughs> that is exactly what it's. Margarita. Yeah, 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 you're right, bro. He's just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I, I'm referring to like just he just keeps coming. He's just coming, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, going yeah. At you, yeah right? man. Yeah, man. He just keeps coming, man. Look who he's doing. Nah, the referee's looking. Nah, come on. Come on. He's, he's nah, look tall, at this. He's just Uppercut. You. That's he beautiful combination as well. Isn't it? Bro was trying to hold him for three life. Left hooks to the body in a row there. Bro was holding him tight. One of them was a little bit yeah, you might, you know what? Yeah, referee time. The referee gonna take a point. He's gonna take a point, man. Yeah, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna warn him. We'll take a point. Yeah, yeah don't hold. Like nah, he, yeah, he don't want to fight no fight. more. <laughs> don't want to fight. You gonna tell him don't hold. Man's gonna hold for it. But don't hold. Man's gonna hold. Oh, headbutt. Yeah. That's a headbutt right there. Yeah. And then left hook after. Yeah, you're lucky. That man savaged him up. Man yeah, savaged him up. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's not looking good for Barrera. He needs, he needs the, Wait, if you want a box, so you want to be a boxer, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, Barrera, Barrera's trying, trying to, trying to be cute in there, trying to be stylish and everything, but sometimes that that, that doesn't work out for you. you know, especially if your conditioning isn't on point, and Taguchi's definitely here. So, like I said before, you know, he's throwing a hundred punches around in, in some of these fights, and yeah. he's he's ready to go for as long as it's gonna take. Yeah, that guy's a Remember warrior. As well, bro. The, the diet, the diet of the Japanese fighters as well, man. You know, no processed food. I've said it before, so they, these guys can can punch for round to after yeah. round. Yes, yeah. build for distance, build for endurance. It's endurance. Yeah, a lot of their food is steamed. Well, the thing is, yeah, the, chin, the thing is, yeah, that ain't gonna help. This guy's got, this actual guy's got a natural good chin, because he can take shots right, right. He's taking yeah, shots. Because yeah, yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah. he took shots from anyway, yeah, and anyway, in, 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 even though anyway early career, <laughs> he could bomb them. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's, oh, big, oh, right, big right hand, right big right hand from yeah. from Taguchi again. Yeah, and he's holding on. Yeah, Barrera. I, I said it's a left. Man. I said it's a left hook coming there, man. I, I think look, there you go. Uh, left is um, oh, an uppercut, right uppercut there. Yeah, left hook, right, yeah, yeah. left right, straight that's it, right, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. The referee, yeah, yeah that's yeah, it, that's yeah, it, yeah. that's yeah, it, man. man. Yeah, the beat down was complete. That was a beat down, an absolutely beat down, and that was it, man. Looking around, ain't no help. Hey, you know what? I give the, I give you credit because he didn't quit. Like some people, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm not saying no names. He never quit, you know, there's no quit in him. But that beat down the referee, the referee done his job. The referee yes. did his job. Great, perf great performance from, from Taguchi, you know. He, he's, he's not the most naturally talented fighter out there, but he's a hard ass worker. He punches in combination, um, you know, he's, he's a very skilled fighter. He, he's learned how, how to punch in combination, how to go to the body, to the head. And he, he uses that, that high endurance, that high stamina, and um, just the heart of a lion to go in there and just grind these fighters down. Man. He, he's, he's going in there and he's, he's tough as hell to beat. Well, he's, he's definitely yeah. got experience from the last time I saw him. He definitely changed his style and he, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's uh, conditioning and his work rate. It's definitely one night. Margarito, absolutely. Pressure fighter was vicious, man. Just yeah, a vicious so that, pressure fighter. So he'll have um that will set him up for a fight with Milan Melinda of Philippines? Uh yes, yes. This, 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 well, like this is, this right, right. Um Taguchi has been looking to uh, try and unify uh belts. Um, a lot of a lot of the fighters that like flyweight as a matter of fact, very deep division, like flyweight fighters mm -hmm. been looking to unify belts, all calling each other out. Um, you see Kosei Tanaka is there ringside, he was calling the bout here, calling doing some of the play-by-play. -play. Um, Tanaka unfortunately has uh, some injuries, so he, he, like, he would like to fight um, Taguchi eventually. Um, you know, you'll probably see him in the ring there, um, you know, uh, given, given a little bit of a build-up, hopefully. Um, but uh, Taguchi is currently signed to fight against Milan Melindo on New Year's Eve here, 2017. Um, Rarita Daguchi versus Milan Melindo, the IBF lightweight flyweight champion versus the WBA light flyweight champion. And um, the winner of that fight will also become the Ring Magazine light flyweight champion. So, um, I mean, uh, but theoretically lineal, according to some people. Um, <laughs> big, that's, a, that's, that's, that's big shoes to fill. And um, him versus Milan Melindo, I think, is going to be an excellent action fight. 
Um, we've seen Melindo in the past. We've covered him uh, just coming off of a couple of great wins. Uh, first round knockout over Akira Yagashi this year, as well as a 12 round split decision over Heki Bunda, proving that he could box with a, with a very good boxer. Um, but hey, he better, he better have his lunch pail ready and be ready to work because that's exactly what this man Taguchi does. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. I think uh, he's in trouble, though. I think Toguchi's in trouble, though. Because the thing is, Melinda can actually really punch. You know what I mean? Yep. He can punch. Yes, Melinda is a very big puncher. In spite of the fact that he's actually very short, he's only a little hair over 5'2", he, he's yeah. a guy that, you know, has fought at flyweight and he's super flyweight before. He's a big guy. Big what? guy for, for in terms of weight for that. You know, and he, he'll uh, bully you if he, if he chooses to. If, if, if Toguchi can weather the early onslaught, though, you probably have to favor Taguchi in, t in the later rounds. Yeah, he's yeah, scored it's, it's a lot be, of uh, late stoppages in his career. Yes, yes, it's going to be a fight of tails. Um, you know, Melindo's very explosive early, especially. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a bit more moderately paced over over the course of a fight. Ryochi Taguchi is high paced, high paced, high action, volume on top of volume. Um, so, uh, you know, if they, if if Milan, Milan Melindo is able to catch uh, Taguchi cold, catch him clean early. Um, could be a short night and a great win for Melindo. Um, if uh, Taguchi is able to extend Melindo over the rounds and um, just put the volume on him, Who's uh, that? then 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 Rio to Taguchi will. Uh, that, is will that be. Tanaka? Who's the guy? In the yeah, that is. Uh, they say that is Kose, that is Kosei Tanaka. Did they say yeah, weight loss? Um, they 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 were uh, at the, at this time. Um, Kosei Tanaka is the former WBO strawweight champion. Mm. Um, now currently the former WBO light flyweight champion. Um, he was looking to try to uh, fight against Taguchi, but uh, Taguchi is now currently signed to fight uh, Melindo. So um, Tanaka became a two-weight champion in only eight fights. Um, he's looking to try to become a three-weight champion now in 11 fights. And, um, and what weight loss? He, flyweight? Um, he, he, he'll be moving up to flyweight um, mm -hmm. this coming this coming year, 2018. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, and Taguchi, I think, yeah, and respectfully leaving him there and see what he can do a higher weight. Definitely. Yes. I think they always show a lot of respect for each other and out of respect, yes. you know. Yeah, but perhaps uh, Tanaka could fight Taguchi at some time point in the future. Could fight maybe Daigo Higo. Could fight even uh, Nai Inoue at some point in the future, possibly. Uh, Tanaka's got big dreams. He said he wants to win world titles in five different weight classes. So he's, he's a man that's looking to uh, prove him above and beyond uh, what, what the norm is out there in the sport of boxing. Absolutely, man. Well, well. Uh, whereas uh, Tanaka is kind of taking the, uh, I guess, the Sugar Ray Leonard route, uh, the Roberto Duran route of trying to win in multiple weight classes, uh, Taguchi is a, is a fighter that has been a long reigning champion now at light flyweight. Um, not, not like I guess, uh, like a Marvin Hagler. Uh, but um, you know, he's a very tall fighter, as you, as you can see right there, as he stands next to Tanaka. So perhaps he may be able to uh, move up uh, for a super fight if the money is right. Mm. Yep. Charlie, last word. No, I'm just, I think um, it's all been covered by Anaya. I, I will favor, definitely favor uh, Taiguchi when he comes up against Milan Melindo on New Year's Eve of this year. Um, high, high work rate, and he's a great fighter. So, yep. All right, man. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you next one. Peace.